Did you know that Raul Paul, a former hedge fund manager and investment strategist, revealed that Cardano will go 100 times? You think that's unrealistic? Watch this video to find out why Raul said this. Cardano is gaining popularity after slowly rising since its creation to become one of the most successful cryptocurrencies in recent years. Currently, its price is quite low, which is weird given it is one of the most outstanding cryptocurrencies in the world. Furthermore, the finest thing is, is that it is blowing all other coins on the market out of the water and it is outperforming every other currency. If we look at all of the smart contract platforms that surround it, such as Ethereum, Instacart, Flipkart, Polkadot, and Solana, Cardano has the by far best platform. Further, it can be observed that despite having a strong ecosystem and a large number of users, tokens scored higher than Cardano and the rest of the world has yet to find it. But why is that so? Cardano's characteristics of being incredibly popular with everyone, including those who are new to the crypto sector, contribute to the coin's value. Moreover, Raul Paul, CEO and co-founder of Real Vision and a macro expert, believes the crypto markets are on the threshold of exponential expansion due to the space's lightning-fast adoption and can even go 100 times. Is 100 times Cardano even possible? Before we move into that deeper, let's take a broader look at Cardano. As we all know, Charles Hoskinson is the inventor of Cardano and the co-founder of Ethereum, two huge blockchain platforms. His professional expertise includes the founding of three cryptocurrency-related firms. In fact, Cardano is a third-generation cryptocurrency with uses ranging from credential verification, to decentralized finance, to non-financial transactions. One of the most valued crypto assets is its cryptocurrency ADA. Cardano's mission is to use smart contracts and decentralization to build a scalable, interoperable, and sustainable system. As you might assume, it's far more advanced under the hood than prior models, so there's a lot more work to be done. Recently, Charles Hoskinson has delved into the project's vision, stating that the network will spread and take shape just like the internet. Recently in a blog post, Hoskinson stated that Cardano is building systematic protocols that will take decades for adoption while stressing that the platform is not after short-term hype. According to Hoskinson, the mentality of the Cardano project is not limited to what it has already achieved as the team continues to explore means of getting better. Projects like Cardano were and still are the antithesis of this mentality. We've always chosen a systematic, patient, and refined process that moves publication by publication, release by release, instead of chasing hype and the latest cycle. Our view is that these protocols will be as ubiquitous as the internet and be used by billions. This scale of adoption will take years to decades, not weeks to months, and won't be a meme. Ultimately, it's the long game that matters, said Hoskinson. Hoskinson, who used the blog post to highlight the challenges of running a company and managing personal life, stated that being a leader in the crypto sector is a complex undertaking. He noted that despite being in the industry for a decade, sometimes it is hectic to keep up with the changing crypto landscape. His sentiments are attributed to Cardano's ongoing network development, seeking to push the network towards mainstream adoption. Some of the notable developments include the rollout of smart contract functionality. Already, the feature is registering success. Our recent report highlights that as of December 8th, the number of smart contracts based on Plutus, a Cardano-based smart contracts platform, stood at 888. Furthermore, the platform also introduced a new peer-to-peer -peer testnet to facilitate full decentralization of the network. Integral to Cardano's network adoption is to facilitate financial inclusion in the developing world. In a recent interview with the Harvard International Review, Hoskinson maintained that the unbanked billions of people in the developing world are part of Cardano's target audience. Besides financial inclusion, the Cardano network is targeting the education system. Early this year, Cardano's parent company Input Output signed a deal with the Ethiopian government to create an educational performance tracking system. In general, Hoskinson who is also the co-founder of Ethereum, has stressed that the crypto sector is here to stay and has a bright future. He believes the growth of cryptocurrencies will see the technology deployed towards realizing the metaverse concept. According to the mathematician, metaverse will be a humongous product category for crypto as the sector will likely offer aspects like the control layer. So the design principles of Cardano prioritize scalability, interoperability, and regulatory compliance. Bitcoin has a significant impact on the settlement layer 
and transaction tracking. In addition, Ethereum is used through the computational layer in the usage of smart contracts and other platform applications. Cardano, like Ethereum, is a smart contract platform with a layer design that enables scalability and security. Indeed, Cardano is unique in that it is based on scientific philosophy and peer-reviewed academic study. The amount of care that goes into maintaining Cardano is what makes it so amazing. Cardano has shown to be a creative, reliable, and academically motivated currency in recent months, with appropriate scientific study laying the groundwork. As a result, numerous investors are swiftly purchasing the little altcoin. Not only that, but interest in Cardano's recently announced project is at an all-time high, and there are major innovations on the way that will truly make those projects incredibly useful. It is a very strong bet for everyone in the following months, and we may witness those 20, 50, or even 100 times when it comes to token gains. Furthermore, the Cardano craze has entered the mainstream as billionaire entrepreneur and investor Mark Cuban phoned one of the core developers behind Cardano to clear up certain misconceptions. Cardano wants to know about Cardano's use cases. The Cuban questioned, what tasks can it perform, and how else might it be useful? As we've seen in previous initiatives like Immunity Life from Charlie 3 Partnership, could Cardano make Charlie 3 its primary chain link? Cardano has the potential to see unprecedented growth. This might suggest a possible 10 times gross from here, implying a market valuation of 360 million US dollars. And strangely, a 100 times rise is also achievable, which implies Cardano must be at least 3.6 billion US dollars ahead of competitors in terms of market value. However, we are confident that all of the hype around Cardano as a result of these numerous new initiatives will bring in all of these fantastic revenues from the token soon. Upon that, even Raul Paul spoke about Cardano. Raul Paul is a famous businessman. In 2014, Paul, together with three other founders, launched Real Vision, the Netflix of finance, an on-demand TV channel for finance with the mission of democratizing financial information. Paul claims that the adoption of cryptocurrency is outpacing that of any prior technology in an interview with RT Networks Going Underground. Crypto currently has 150 million users. The adoption rate is 113% a year. It's twice as fast as the fastest adoption of any technology in all recorded history. So it's happening at a lightning pace. Everyone is coming into the space. The institutions, the sovereign wealth funds, retail investors from ETFs, nation states, everybody, stated Raul Paul. In response to regulatory worries, the former Goldman Sachs executive asserts that the sheer breadth and decentralized nature of the market will make it almost hard for regulatory agencies to effectively oversee. Additionally, he added that this is something unique. This is a distributed network of owners around the world of 150 million people. There will soon be a billion people, so their ability to control it is almost zero. It's a fascinating space. It is anti-establishment at its core and creates a new world based around a kind of distributed ownership and proven ownership of assets that people can't mess around with. Paul thinks that crypto markets would reach a total worth of $200 trillion in the next decade based on the magnitude of other traditional financial markets. The overall crypto market cap, as computed by TradingView, is $2.79 trillion at the time of writing. More so, Paul stated that right now it's a $2.5 trillion asset class. Most of the major asset classes around the world, equities, bonds, real estate, are between $150 trillion and $350 trillion. So I think this goes to $200 trillion in the next 10 years, so that's a 100 times for an asset class. Mankind has never seen that before. So it's an opportunity for everybody because everybody can own 10% of their assets in this. Everybody, the richest and the poorest. Guys, what would you do with your money if Cardano goes 100 times? Even the famous Raul Paul mentions that the total crypto market cap can go 100 times. But how many times will the super potential ADA token go? Don't forget to join the giveaway. Look at the comment section for what to do. Make sure you click the subscribe and bell button.